Carl Menninger, the great philosopher who died just a few weeks ago, once was asked, what would you do if you thought you were going crazy? And he said, I'd find me someone less fortunate and serve them. Service to other people is the great cornerstone of happiness. Service willingly given is the highest form of happiness hard for us to sometimes realize that. It's a great Christian principle, and it really works. They can really tell when a city fellow moves into the community to try to start farming. We have some horses, you know, and we're trying to look like farmers. I was learning to ride, and I was riding the other day, and the horse started bucking, threw me off, and my foot caught in the stirrup. Looked like I was going to get hurt, but Kmart man ran out and unplugged it just in time. And <laughs> Direction. Goals. They say to go through life without a goal is like going through a desert without water. It's so essential for us to have that direction, some ideals. Ideals are not so important in their accomplishment as the direction they give our life. We need that direction. I heard about the funeral of King George VI in England when a reporter had gone and was standing so that he was going to be able to be right alongside the caisson and the parade as he came by. He would see the kings and queens and princes and rulers of the world following behind that caisson, and he was there positioned perfectly on the curb in this great crowd. And as the group approached and got closer to him, there was a little dog trotting along under the caisson. It had been the king's dog, and there was a dog on the curb that barked, and the dog fight got started, and everybody kind of moved back. And when he looked up, the parade had passed. He later wrote, I missed that for which I had come. I was watching a dog fight while the rulers and the kings of the world passed right by me. You've got to have some determination and hard work. It's going to take it. Success just is not easy. Nobody hands it to you on a silver platter. It doesn't fall out of the sky like Chicken Little. I guess you've all heard that wild geese fly and fly so much faster. It's a, a sort of a synergistic effect. They can fly 71% faster together in formation. A man who didn't think he needed anybody was the meanest man in the world. About six foot eight, just beat everybody up. Won him a dog. Got him the biggest dog he could find. Big old dog weighed over 100, over 200 pounds. Dog was so big that he just beat everybody's dog up. He used time to tough on poor while he went in and ate breakfast that morning. And a little fellow walked in one morning and said, Anybody in here got a dog? He said, I got a dog. Killed your dog. What do you mean? He said, He jumped up, he ran out there and looked at his dog was dead. He said, Where's your dog? I, said, I think he's stuck in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott Hubbard, co author of the book Charles Lane, A Life of Influence. And I'm Leanne Hubbard, Charles Lane's granddaughter, and I'm so excited that my husband Scott has decided to write a book about my wonderful grandfather. I hope you gain as much from reading this book as I did from writing it. For more information about the book, you can go to jbusuccess.com and click on the link, A Life of Influence. Thanks again. Thank you.